Hi again, welcome back. I haven't done a video for quite a while and this is going to be a shed video. As you can see there, uh, it's a deck I've been refurbing, a lawnmower deck. Uh, it's nearly done this one. I had this one sandblasted. I managed to find someone to do it at a reasonable price for me. Uh, it has had to have a weld there because it had a slight spit, but it's a good weld. So that is going to be a self-drive deck and I'm going to place a Honda engine on that. So I've got all the parts. I've just got a um, paint it the colour, it's going to be black, it's going to be gloss black and then it will have a coat of um, lacquer on top of that. I've also done a, a red one that's in, uh, in this colour and that's going to be um, lacquered too. So that will be two, I want to try and do four in one go with the lacquer so there's one over there if you can see, a red one there, that's still got to be done and then at the back, so you just see the front of it, there's a, um, a hater 56 back there so that's got to be done as well so I'll try to do four in one go this one here is done that's just been done with um, in the way. smooth hammerite and um, that's just a push mower so that will do for that it looks quite smart I had paint flake and that on it but it's not coming with a bad finish really and that's quite durable paint so I'll do for that and then I've got one down here which has just been stripped and that's going to be um, the hammered finish black so that means I can get one Two, three, four, five, uh, six, six um, um, bases done, and the mowers will be all refurbed. Um, on the self-drive decks, I shall fit Honda engines probably. The push ones will probably have the Briggs and Stratton classic engines on them, and the the Hater will have its own engine on, which is the I think it's, I think it's a Quantum Briggs and Stratton Quantum. So get on quite well with them. I haven't got much room in here at all, but. Um, can get around a little bit. I'll just show you. I've got the heater on. It's sort of sleeting outside at the moment. It's quite cold, but this little heater does warm up the shed quite well. Other things I've got to work on. Um, I acquired this um, a Husqvarna hedge cutter. Unfortunately, you can see it's broke this. So when it starts, it like shakes and it just makes a noise. So. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that, whether I can buy the part, whether I can get it welded. Uh, I'd like to actually get the part for that, so I've got to sort of take, strip that down and take that apart. It's just a single edge one. You see like that. Um, so um, it's a good head cut. I have had it running, so I do know it runs okay. It's just that sort of vibrates as it's running, so that's got to be sorted. Another thing I'm working on is um, this um, Makita vac plaque. Blower. Oh, I can't really show you it probably at the moment, but I might do a video about that. I think the only thing that's really wrong with that now is um, that bolt's missing. It's as I acquired it, and I um, I had what do I have to do with that? There's oh, the um, plug lead come off from the plug cap, so it wasn't wasn't getting the spark to the spark plug. So that was quite a simple fix, but I don't know what's happened there. But that little bolt needs replacing. And I have got the end pipe for I'm not sure whether it's properly the correct one, but it fits, so that will be okay. That's a four four stroke as it shows um backpack blower. So I'm not sure whether I'll keep that as a spare or or get rid of that. I shall see. I've still got my Honda I show you a while back there, and the other one underneath. And I've got another one, the ones I use under there as well, so the shit is full of lawnmowers at the moment. Um, I'll probably get some work videos as well up, and there probably will be some boot sale ones. Um, you know what I find at boot sales, but I went to boot sale today, but it wasn't very really good, so it hasn't been that brilliant in the last few weeks. When it gets really up and running properly, I'll um, do a few um, haul videos of that. I think that's about where we are at the moment. Uh, I would show you the other deck I've done, but that's outside, and it sounds really horrible out there at the moment, so I'll show you that in the next video. They're, they could well be done by then actually. Um, I need to get them done because time's pushing on now and it won't be long before the grass season starts. I've already cut some lawns already, a few, but we, we've had this blip in the weather where it's got quite cold now. I think this week's meant to be quite quite cold then. It's supposed to warm up again I think, so I hope so anyway. And that's about where I am at the moment, so I'm just going to stay out here a little while and I'll probably just just put a bit of filler on there just to take that little weld out and then that one can more or less be done and then that one's got to have I'll just go, I'll just go straight over with that with the, the hammerite which I have 
there. Just go straight over. It says straight on metal or rust or whatever. So that's what I should do with that. That's just, like I said, just going to have a basic Briggs and Stratton Classic engine on that. So I think the under underside has already been. Yep, it's already been stone chipped under there. As has that one as well. I don't think the silver one has. But, um, and that one is painted with some other paint as well, that red one there. So that's where I'll leave this video now, and I'll be along with an update soon. So thanks for watching.